Welcome back friends to the shop. So today's video is to address a great controversy uh, that's, uh, that many of you, hundreds of you guys have emailed me about, um, about the, pow the Oregon Power Shop Sharp Chainsaw Sharpener and my personal endorsement of this. So if you don't know what that is, now thanks to Ken, Ken sent us uh, a copy of this and I don't know if this is the genuine or if this is the counterfeit. Uh, I have no way of knowing. It doesn't say Oregon on there, so I'm wondering if it is indeed the counterfeit. If you don't know, Oregon Chainsaw has developed years ago a system that you can, by clamping this on the end of your chainsaw bar, open it up right here, that this, the bar clamps in there, there's a small stone on there, and it, has, it uses a special chain, and the principle is this, is you run the saw up to speed, and then as you, you put this on, and then you press while it's running, you press it against here and the chain sharpens itself on the stone inside of this. Obviously, you can tell from this unit here, this is not a professional type of model. And I just found out, I, was, I thought, well, it was very ironic that Ken sent this because I was just getting ready to do the video and talk about the great controversy surrounding this thing. So, here's what happened. Mrs. W and I finally got down to the, got to the bottom of it. There is a company in China I don't remember the name of it, but they have basically copied this or they've done, they, they've, what's the word I'm looking for? Forfeit, it's not a, good grief. They've copied the Oregon one and they're rebranding it and they're selling it everywhere online, primarily through like social media. So what they're doing is that they've got this really um, bad video that they put together demonstrating how awesome this thing is and they've stolen um, half of it, they've stolen my video content and, and spliced it into their video. And so what it looks like when people are watching it, and the reason why I'm getting all these emails is that people are asking me, hey, why are you endorsing this thing? You know, I, 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 I thought you said that this was, um, you know, probably not something that you'd really use, um, but we, we see you've got your footage all over the place and, you know, are you, are you shilling for this company and have you sold out? It's not the case. I have nothing to do with it. Actually, Mrs. W and I f found out about it when you guys started emailing me when we were coming back from the Wobder ride, you know, two, three weeks ago. And we started reaching, I thought it was from Oregon. So we immediately contacted, a, filed a, a cease and desist with Oregon. They didn't have any idea what we were talking about, you know, and then we did some more research on it. Mrs. W found out that it was some shyster company um, that had ripped it off and was marketing it and using our content. So I have nothing to do with it. I did not endorse it. We have filed six complaints with Facebook and had the videos pulled down six times, and yet it continues to pop up under new accounts. Um, so that's it. So it, again, we don't have anything to do with it. I'm not shilling for, for the company. I, I can't, I, I've never even used one. I know nothing about it, and I'm certainly not getting paid by the company, and it's got nothing to do with Oregon. So I'm not saying that it's not not a viable product for somebody, that it might be a good option for a homeowner or someone that doesn't know how to sharpen a chainsaw. I have no idea. I've never used it. Um, I would love to try it out and do a video on it. Unfortunately, I don't have the stuff to do it, Ken. Uh, Ken sent me, it takes a special chain, obviously, and, and it fits on a st still saw here, but I believe it takes a special bar that I don't own. I don't have any of those homeowner versions of saws that run the PowerSharp system. I only have the pro saws, which don't. And I don't know if you can put the homeowner bar on the professional saw. Um, if someone knows about that, I know some of my subscribers are, have still dealerships. If you could tell me, let me know, contact me, Cody at WranglerStar.com. If I could put one of those bars on my pro saw, I'll do a video on it. We'll try it out and see if it works. Um, uh, it'd be interesting to see because it's an interesting concept. Sharpening chainsaws, if you don't, not, you're not in the know and if you don't do it all the time, if you're not a regular firewood guy, it's... How do you know, you know, and you end up having to take your, your bar off and take it to the guys and it costs a lot of money. So I'm not, I'm not discounting it. Uh, I've just, I've never used it, nor do I have any way of testing that. So if you were wondering what the great controversy about was, was about the, the chainsaw, the power sharp system, that's it. It's completely out of our hands. The fact that the company is in China, we, we don't have any teeth. We can't do anything, even though all of our our content, thanks to Ken, is all um, copyrighted um, and it's all filed, you know, so they can't use it, but what are we going to do about it? Only thing I can do is to go through Facebook and they don't particularly care about protecting creators' um, work.
So all they do is just create a new account and put it back up. So I'm just repeating myself. So that's it. That's the story of the controversy. Let me know if you know about this bar, how we can make this work. We, I will be happy to make a video and try it and see if it does work and if that's an option for you. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll just have, to, uh, just have to wait and see. So thanks for watching. May God bless you and your families. Keep us in your prayers, and we'll see you guys on the next video.